Hey guys, Parox here, and today I've got another fun unboxing for you guys from Speakeep Shop. Alright, so we've got a lot of stuff here, and I was actually really looking forward to this unboxing. I'm super excited for everything in here. So the GX Speedcube Timer, I actually really wanted, because I recently went to a competition. I was having a lot of trouble because with my current G3 timer. It was, it was too big and really annoying. So I wanted to get a smaller version, and we'll check this out at the end of this video. So I finally have all three versions of the Cosmic Loop. So this is Galaxy, this is Martian, and this is Nebula. I think Martian is the best one out of all three. But what I've been really looking forward to is this Jackal Lantern Loop. So this is Speedcube Shop's limited edition loop that they just released only for October. Unfortunately, they already ran out because there is such high demand for this. I think it's the best one out of all of them. I'll do a quick test of the Jack-O-Lantern aka Spooky Loop in this video, but we'll save the other Cosmic Loops for another video. So these here are some Z CFOP algorithm cards. So basically these are like credit cards. They have a bunch of algs on them for F2L, OLL, and PLL. So here are some F2L cases. And these are all 57 OLL algorithms and all 21 PLLs. At first, I wasn't really sure how they were gonna fit all the OLLs on here. They would have had to make the text really small and it is pretty small, but it's definitely readable. It's, I'm not having trouble reading it at all. It's pretty cool, you can fit these in your wallet really easily. It's much better than writing them down on a notebook or something. So finally, here is the Spooky Cube. This is Speakeep Shop's Halloween themed product this year. Um, I think it's a Yushin Fire and it has some pe like some modification done to the pieces so it feels different. And of course it has a really cool Halloween themed sticker scheme. Halloween's one of my favorite holidays so I was really glad that Speakeep Shop has done this. I really like collecting these sort of things so I'm glad that this is here. But the turning unfortunately isn't the greatest. It's actually very tight and it's not looped at all, but the sticker replacement looks really nice at least. And I do really like this year's Halloween logo too. So now let's try out this spooky lube on the MF3 RS2. People have been saying this is a really good cube, but I don't know, I don't really like it. It feels pretty dry. I think uh, we might have to add a bit more lube. Yeah, that's much better. So I really like the feel of this lube. It's not too watery, um, but it does make the cube much faster. This needs a little bit more lube, which I will add later, and I will update you guys on how it worked out in my comparison video. Unfortunately, you can't buy this anymore. It's discontinued, but hopefully they bring it back in the future or something similar to it. All right, so now let's take a quick look at the GX timer. Okay, so it doesn't come with batteries, so I will be right back. All right, there it is, it is turned on. So there's actually no buttons on the front of it. There's only one on button on the back right here. But, so the way you reset it is you just hold your hands on and it resets and then you let go and it starts timing you and then you stop. I usually don't solve very well when there's a lot of bright lights, which is weird. That probably looks a little darker, but I can definitely recognize much better like this. Pretty good. I messed up at the end a lot, but it was still a pretty decent solve. Anyway, that was it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Big thank you to Speakeep Chef for sending this stuff out to me. I've left an affiliate link in the description, so if you click on that, it should take you to Speakeep Shop. And if you order anything using that link, you'll be supporting me and supporting this channel, which will help me put out more awesome content like this for you guys. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to help me out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.